But anyway, man, you and I, we had a long conversation about Chase Young and Montez Sweat. In case if you haven't heard it, Chase Young and Montez Sweat have been traded. Montez Sweat was traded to the Chicago Bears for a second round pick. Meanwhile, Chase Young was traded to the San Francisco 49ers for a third round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. Chip, I mean, I love both of these guys. I mean, they were first round picks. Chase Young was the number two overall pick in that 2020 NFL Draft. Montez Sweat, we drafted him late in the first round. Um, It's really sad for me because, unfortunately, I hate to see these guys go. I wish them nothing but the best um with Montez in Chicago and Chase Young to San Francisco I think before I give you my opinion my thoughts on this look a trade was going to happen I mean one of these two I mean one of these two or both of these two were going to be let go I mean I said it before I would keep Montez Sweat trade Chase Young I'm not mad at the Chase Young trade But letting go of Montez is going to hurt. Now, even though Montez Sweat hasn't made a Pro Bowl in his career, hasn't produced or played like a top-notch defensive end, same thing with Chase Young, the likes of Michael Parsons, TJ Watt, and guys like that. But it's going to be hard to get another good pass rusher. So I hope, and I'm glad for Washington, that they at least get draft picks in return. So it's not like you're losing them for nothing. I think that Washington had to let them go to get draft picks. And on top of that, both of them were entering free agency after this season. So if you're Washington, you don't want to pay these two a huge ton of money and then jeopardize your cap space. So, Champ, I'm going to let you go, man. What are your thoughts regarding the trade? I think there was a, uh, like we discussed uh, earlier yesterday, that was a call by ownership and the new ownership group. And I believe they traded those two specifically for those two reasons. They did not want to pay them over the cap and risk going into cap hell. Next year, Washington has over 90 million in cap space, over 90 million in cap space. So I can really see them replacing Montez Sweat and Chase Young with a guy like a Daniel Hunter from Minnesota, Mm -hmm. if they can manage to pry him from Minnesota. Mm -hmm. So also you have a lot of great pass rushers coming out of college at this point. So you don't want to, and also uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Y'all have y'all paid Jonathan Allen as of yet? We've already taken care of Allen and we've also taken care of Deron Payne because I know you wanted to get Deron Payne. Yeah, I wanted Deron Payne real bad, man. We wanted Montez Sweat too, but you know, y'all ended up giving him to Chicago. But that is a call from ownership. They get the picks and I think they're going to be, very much invested in the draft. This mm-hmm. is something that happens nearly every time a new on- ownership just bought the team earlier this year as the season had begun. Exactly. Well, so they're trying to get their quote unquote, get their claws into this team before it gets too out of hand. I think it's going to be where Ron Rivera is. I think he's going to be let go later on this year after the season's over. I don't think they're going to pull the Josh McDaniels on him. I think they're going to get him out the season. Yeah. But I think this is an attempt by ownership to say, look, we're about to blow this team up. I don't think we're going to beat Philadelphia. I don't think we can compete with the Cowboys at this point. We're going to have to blow this thing up and come back next year and rebuild it because us spending over the cap for two for one guy who didn't have the durability and the other guy who was a producing Pro Bowl caliber numbers, when the middle of your defensive line – is providing that structure for you to do that. People don't people don't realize that. The middle of that defensive line is the strength of that defensive line. And for your bookends to not ever have double-digit sacks, that's a problem. Mm-hmm. And if I'm the owner, I'm looking at that. 